two things to stop doing in your fasting regimen. Number one, fasting while you are fasted. It is not a good idea to be doing OMAD and then to jump into another fast. So let's say you're eating OMAD for a month and then all of a sudden you say, I'm going to speed things up by doing a five-day water fast. It's generally not a good idea. And by the way, you should not be doing long fast unless you are very experienced fasting. If you've been fasting three months, you can consider it, or three months or more. But you don't want to be trying to overkill because you get to the point of diminishing returns. And that I've talked about before. If you are trying too hard, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot because your body's going to recognize when you're trying to BS it, when you're trying to do too much, when you get on a diet kick, when you get on a health kick. Don't be fasting while you are fasted. The OMAD fast is good enough in almost all cases. So unless you are terminally ill or you're about to have to start taking medication for the rest of your life for a chronic illness, uh, then unless that's the case, you don't need to do prolonged water fasts. You don't need to do a 5, 10, 7 day water fast like the OMED fast I mentioned, which should be reserved for medical conditions or chronic conditions of inflammation. So don't fast while you are fasting. Rely on a consistent method throughout. That's the best way for weight loss. That's why I say a water fast is not as good for weight loss as an OMAD fast on a consistent basis because the consistency is what's going to give dependable results. Uh, a fast that is temporary, that is restrictive, your body is going to call BS. And by that I mean uh, it's going to compensate. So if you are doing a water fast and then you jump off, you're going to gain weight back because a lot of the weight you lost was water. If you're doing keto... As soon as you jump off and cheat with sugar, you're going to gain a whole bunch of weight because your body hasn't had it. It's going to say, okay, now we're back to the regular way that we prefer to eat, so let's, let's make the best of it. Mm -hmm. That's why it is very important to not go for any of this sort of nonsense where people jump from one fast to another or from another method. You shouldn't do that. Your body will call BS on you. So... That's the number one. Number two, the green smoothie kick. I know that a lot of people ask about using a green smoothie as part of your OMAD fast. You can use it as the beverage, but you shouldn't do it more than about three days a week, and you should be careful not to add sugars in there. Uh, if you're going to do a fast, do a, a true smoothie. Just do something like a kale or arugula smoothie, where you put in the uh, alone. Don't combine them. Do either a kale or an arugula smoothie or something like that, and do them straight. So water, no other, no artificial sweeteners, no man-made sweeteners, no fruit sweeteners. Just do a straight one. It's going to be like drinking grass. And it's good, but it's also going to overtax your bladder. And your body, again, is going to call BS if you do it too often. Have very sm a very small amount once every other day or every other two days. The reason being it's too strong. Your body's going to, going to have to resort to getting rid of it. And so you're going to be peeing constantly. Don't get into the detoxing stuff, because as with all of these things, what your body is going to do is call BS, and it's going to say, this is not how you normally eat. So it's going to basically wait in a little bit of a crisis mode until you're done and you go back to your regular routine. That's what, that's what we're getting at here. It's going to wait, and you're not going to be making progress. And that's why the best recipe for consistency is doing all of the old things you did when you were out of control eating, Doing, doing those things while fasting. So if you used to be like I did, playing chess and uh, doing my work stuff full, learn to do those things empty. Learn to stay consistent on your OMAD fast, and you will have a much better track record down the long run because you'll be attached to the same life goals and ambitions and aspirations fasted instead of full. That's the way to succeed. So be careful of these things. Be careful of fasting while fasted. It's generally really almost never a good idea unless you have special circumstances going on. Or two, stuff like smoothies. You don't want to overtax the body. You don't want to put yourself back in dieting game where your body starts to feel like you're you're wearing yourself out with a temporary measure. Your body is, is smart enough to call BS on stuff like that. Uh, stay consistent, and that's what's going to yield long-term results.